Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Titilaya and if this is your first time seeing me on your screen or stopping by on my channel, it is very very nice to meet you. If this is not your first time, welcome back. So today's video as you can tell from the title is going to be an eyebrow routine video. This video is one that, you know, I can finally say, <laughs> Mama, I made it. I've been on YouTube for over a year now and still never actually put up an eyebrow routine video because my eyebrow routine can be summarized into four words. It is a struggle, which can then be, you know, further summarized into two words. It's a struggle until I found this amazing hack. It has completely, completely changed my eyebrow game. I have very, very oily brows as well. And I don't know if you guys have experienced this or know someone who experiences this, but this is when like the area where your brow is, is just freaking oily. Like it's as oily as my nose, sometimes even more oily. An oily eyebrow hack where you can you know draw your eyebrows and still make them look good even though they're hella oily if you'd like to see how i do that then just keep on watching first of all i'm going to be showing you guys how i'm cleaning up my brows so to do that i'm taking first a spoolie and I'm just going to use that to brush the brows into the desired shape that I want them. So normally your brows do have like a shape that they already have. So pretty much just brushing the brows in that shape. And I like to brush the hairs in front all the way to the top. And then as I move towards the middle, I start to flick them to the bottom. So going in with the feet hair removal cream, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that I'm also going to take a random brush as you guys can see this brush has been through the struggle it's always advisable to use like a flat head brush because then that allows you to actually place this product properly where you would want them to where you want it to go so I usually start off on the eye of my brow and then I'm trying not to press this into the skin because you don't want to press a hair removal cream into the skin because you can you know kind of irritate your skin and everything so I'm just going very lightly and brushing it out and then doing the same technique I'm going to go on the top of the brows as well just to get rid of any excess hairs that you don't want so that's what it looks like once I'm done. I'm just going to go in and complete the exact same step on the other side. Girl, is you crazy? Boy, come and see me. I do just that because I got you already. You ask for them. So, one final step I like to do is I like to actually join the lines together and I also do this with my concealer just because I feel like it helps to in a sense it creates the monobrow look but once you put it in the middle it kind of divides that so it gives you that clear division that yo this is not a monobrow. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing and in the same vein I'm going to just get rid of the excess hairs that would be forming a potential monobrow like y'all are not invited to the party you can exit now thank you very much I'm going to go on to set a timer and normally um, you're not supposed to have hair removal cream on for anything more than 3 minutes but because this area of my skin is very sensitive, it's my face, I usually like to go and set that for just 2 minutes. So I'm going to take the timer and just start that. So we have a timer now for 2 minutes and that's counting down. Alright guys, so now that the time is over, it's been two minutes, 
So I'm going to go in and according to the directions on the hair removal cream, we're supposed to take that off with a wet washcloth. So I just dampened a little bit of um, a little paper towel and I'm just going to take that and wipe that off. So at this point, we should be expecting to see the hairs actually come off. So I'm just going to take that like so. So I don't know if you guys can really see that because of the light and how white this is. But we can actually see the hairs are coming off. So it's that easy, y'all. And I'm just going to take that, especially in the area. Alright guys, so I'm then going to go in with a dry paper towel and just wipe that off. That's how I clean up my brows. So I have a more well defined shape now to my brows. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I fill out my eyebrows. The first step to filling out your brows is always to go in with your spoolie and brush the hairs in the direction or in the shape you would want them to go. So just exactly like we just did before we applied the cream, I'm just going to brush my hairs up and towards the middle start to flick them towards the bottom. Alright, so that should be fairly easy now that you don't have a lot of you know stray hairs and everything. So now for the hack and the killer, you know, this is the gold winning step. Like whoever invented the step should get an award for this. Go in with your eyelash adhesive and in this case I'm going to be using my dual brush on adhesive and place this on your eyebrows. Yeah, I'm just taking that like so. And I'm just placing this in upward strokes on the hairs and then towards the bottom I'm taking it downwards. And then going in with a spoolie and I usually prefer to use like all of these um, disposable spoolies and not my actual spoolie. I'm just going to brush this into the eyebrow hairs. Now this step helps to hold your brow hairs in place all day long that's pretty much dried down now and as you can see it just helps to maintain that shape so i'm going to repeat the same step on the other side so that's what we currently have and now I'm going to be going in to actually fill out my eyebrows and to do that I use a brow pencil at this point you can choose to use a brow gel or whatever product you prefer but I love using the Davis brow pencil in number 003 this is actually a Nigerian brow pencil and I just feel like it's the correct shade and you know consistency if you would want to say that for a brow pencil that I like. So now the good thing about the step with the glue is the fact that all of my hairs are in place so I can see how much or how little I need to fill out the areas of my brows. So this helps me to make sure I'm not using too much. So starting off at the ends, I'm just going to start with light strokes and I'm just going to fill out the tail end of my brows. You got me locked, it's so crazy. I bet this just how it is. Then I'm going to go in towards the front and actually fill out that line. So it's like I just drew a line very faintly from the top of my brows towards the end. Then I'm going to go on the top and starting from the middle of my brows, I'm going to draw that eye. Now I'm actually just following the exact shape of my brow, the natural shape. And then I'm going to bring that down and just connect the line. And I'm just going to go in and kind of fill out that line on the top. 
very very lightly and I don't like to bring the line to the middle or to the same length because I feel like that just gives you that boxed up brow look which isn't cute so I just like to do kind of like a half line and then a full line on the bottom so now I'm going to go in and in areas where I can kind of see my skin peeking through I'm just going to fill out those areas using short strokes so for someone like me who has very very hairy brows I don't necessarily need this step just because my brow hairs are very full and long so they kind of cover up but there are some sparse areas that I just like to fill out with the brow pencil so I'm going to go in to complete the exact same steps on the other side So this is currently what I'm working with and at this point I did want to remind you all of the golden rule of eyebrows. They are sisters, not twins. So as you can see the shape isn't exactly the same on both sides but they do look good individually. You don't have to make sure they look the exact same like you would actually see people who try to be symmetrical or whatever. like. I don't always do that, I just like them to look good separately. I'm going to then go in again with a spoolie and I'm just going to use this to kind of brush the brow product into the hair and this is going to be kind of hard to do just because you do have your hair glued down but it kind of helps just to make sure the brow um, gel or the brow pencil looks more natural I give you everything that I could give cause you got me in love I talk to God above Whether I'm going to go in to actually clean up the brows a little bit so to do this I usually take a concealer and the concealer I'm currently using now is the Hello Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa so this concealer is a dark shade and it kind of matches the skin it kind of matches my actual skin tone as well so I like to use this both at the top as well as at the bottom of my brows so going in with a flat concealer brush so that's the concealer brush that I use and this is from Jack Cosmetics and I'm just going to take that brush and the concealer on it and I'm just going to place that and outline the brows in the shape that they already have repeat the same step on the top To kind of break this mono brow look because that's not what we're going for I'm just going to take that concealer and place it in the middle so this gives a clear demarcation for your brows to know that yo we're not meaning up like we're not mm -mm, we don't roll like that so I'm now going in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to use this to blend out that concealer Here's what it looks like when that concealer is all blended out. So this step is optional if you have dry skin, um, because sometimes your eyebrow area might not be as oily. Or depending on the product you're using, you might be using a mattifying concealer that is already drying and you may not want to go in with this powder step, but I always advise you to do it whenever you use concealer 
to always set it with the powder. So I'm going to be going into my Zikel powder palette and I'm going to be taking that white translucent shade and this is called highlighter and I'm just going to take that on that fluffy brush and tap the excess off and I'm just going to push that into the concealer so this will kind of help set it in place and make sure it doesn't start you know creasing or oxidizing or it's kind of you know how concealer does its thing so I'm going to place this in all of the areas that I applied that concealer from the side to side, you just know. Come on, let's roll up in my zone. We don't gotta talk it, lock connection. We got this like melody. I'm gonna go in again with that spoolie just to kind of brush in the product. I keep your company one alone. I remember. That's what my brows look like. They're going to stay like this throughout the whole day. No matter what, oils, rain, sunshine, snow, you're going to stay on and i hope you all found this video very helpful if you did please make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and if you're not already following me on instagram and snapchat please make sure to follow me right now and if you're not already subscribed please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the post notification bell so you never miss a post from me all right guys i will see you in my next video god willing bye bye